an MH power bank and it costs 499 rupees. It has a single USB port and its output is 5 volts 1 ampere. From here you can charge it. Again the input is 5 volts 1 ampere and it takes around 3 hours to get fully charged. Also it supports pass through charging. And the speciality of this power bank is it has a bright LED torch. Again to start it, press the given button and hold it. The LED torch gets on and it has 4 modes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Overall guys, it's a great power bank for its price. Next, number 2 is this Intex 4000mAh power bank and it cost 489 rupees. It has a single USB port and its output is 5 volts 1 ampere. From here, you can charge it. The input is again 5 volts 1 ampere. And the charging time is very high. It takes around 5 hours to get fully charged. Again guys, it's a 4000mAh power bank. I would say the charging time is pretty acceptable for its price. Also, it supports pass-through charging. And also guys, it has a LED torch right here. To turn it on, double press the given button. The LED torch will get on. And again guys, it's not that bright, but again, it's good for at emergency times. Overall, I would say that it's a really good portable 4000mAh power bank. Moving on to the number 3 is this Tugza 3000mAh power bank and it costs 499 rupees. The form factor of this power bank is really good, it's very slim and lightweight. And the best thing about this power bank is that it has a built-in micro USB cable. You don't need to carry a cable with you. Also it has a lightning port converter inside here. You can charge your iPhone with this. Also it has a USB output. Again you can charge two devices at the same time with this power bank. Also it supports pass through charging. The output of this USB is 5 volts 1 ampere and also output of this built-in cable is 5 volts 1 ampere and from here you can charge it. The input is again 5 volts 1 ampere and it takes around 2.5 hours to 3 hours to get fully charged. The number 4 is this Codec 2500mAh power bank and it costs 399 rupees and it's a very simple type of power bank. Here it has a USB port and its output is 5 volts 1 ampere and from here you can charge it and again its input is 5 volts 1 ampere and it takes around 2.5 hours to get fully charged. Also it supports pass through charging. That's good at this price point. And the number 5 is this Portronix 2600mAh power bank and it costs 349 rupees. And guys it's a very tiny power bank and the build quality of this power bank is amazing. It's made up of plastic with rubber finish and at this side if you slide it down like this, here you will get the USB port and its output is 5 volts 1 ampere. And again guys the moment you slide it down like this, here it shows the remaining power. And from here, you can charge it. The input is again 5 volts 1 ampere and it takes around 3 hours to get fully charged. So this is an extra one. LabGuard 3000mAh power bank and it costs 499 rupees. So as you can see here guys, it's very slim. Also it's very lightweight to hold. And at this side, it has a USB port and the output of this USB port is 5 volts 2 ampere. And from here, you can charge it and the input is 5 volts 1.5 ampere. But again guys, the bad thing is that it does not support pass through charging. And guys, do remember this all are portable power banks. Again guys, under 500 rupees, we only get portable power banks, not heavy duty power banks like this. For that, we need 1000 rupees budget. Again guys, many of you requested for under 500 rupees power bank video, that's why I made it. And if you guys want power banks under 1000 rupees budget, do let me know in comment section. If many of you guys are interested, I will definitely make a video on that. Okay, so this is it guys. If you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really really motivates me, so please give this video a big thumbs up. And all the product links will be in the description, you can check that out.